Okay, good afternoon, Omniprint family. Uh, I said I was going to do this for you guys because I figured out how to print on wood. Uh, I'm using 4x4 coaster plates right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through um, the template. You just have to work them up yourselves in Photoshop. But um, I'm doing something a little different on this one. So you're going to see an experiment as long as much as I'm doing it right now. Um, I've already printed color on the 9x11s, came out just fine, and what I did for that is, when we go into the rip, all I had to do was bring the color strength down to 25. That's all I did. Nothing special, nothing super weird uh, inside the rip itself. I just brought the color strength down to 25%, printed uh, on a white environment and I even used um, production uh, the production one mind you now I am operating a 330 TX not the plus it's a 330 TX like I said um, just like with the masks you have to make yourself a template like I made myself a template on the 17 and a half by 12 and a half uh, format that I do everything on and you can fit six four by four coasters on there with enough room let's see if yeah with enough room on it that you go when you create your template you go just a hair bigger than the, t the coaster is so that way you get the full the full print like on this so what I found out works really good is you need to go to the supply store, printing supply store, screen printing supply, or buy it online, and get Spray Away Fast Tax 382. That's what I use. And a roll of platen tape. Right here is the platen tape on top of the adult platen. Then I put the spray tack down, and that holds the fabric. I take the 17 by 12 and a half, lay the fabric down so I can lay the template. So that way we know where to place the wood. And of course, once again, with it being oversized, you know where to place it. It's not covered, anything like that. And your design is going to print over the whole thing. On this one, I have two colored objects on this sample print I'm doing for a client. I have all black print and there's the wolf logo which has white tans grays and browns and then another logo for a group that has of course as you see a faded green a, a burst the white the gold black what I'm doing with this one is I put it on color the the color one Let's, I'll show you. I'll just show it right here. I went into. Sorry about that. I went into 330TX production mode because that's what I got. Color media. And then took my strength down to 25% because that's what I. That's what I ran with on the 9 by 11 Oops, to the too far. And then what I'm going to do over here, because there's going to be a white underbase, and I don't want it to run. And this, like I said, this is going to be a, an experimental test on it to see if it works or not. So. Okay. So, I know what happened. <laughs> In the rip, it just, yeah, it just wasn't set up right. That's what I get for trying to kill two birds with one stone. I should have only used designs at the same time because I'm printing six different designs. Make sure that I had those designs compatible with one environment instead of trying to use two, a different environment to do two different things without having to go really into it and to something major for you guys. The simplicity of it is basically 
Start your strength at 25 for your printer, for your color strength. Print um, in production mode or regular mode if you want. Just make sure that color strength is down. So I've corrected it. I'm going to a white environment for the FreeJet 330TX, not the Plus. And I'm going to go ahead and reprint what we just printed over because it came out very, very light. And it shouldn't have. So um, my next adventure will probably be figuring that part out. Being able to do 10 different designs and using, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and reprint this in the white environment. I took the color strength down to 25. Because that's what I printed on before. I'm going to go ahead now and print this. The rip is done. So with an all-white uh, environment, printing all six of these, our ink usage goes to five cents. And now, mind you, there is no pre-treat on this wood. None at all. Um, the one thing you will do is you set your, your hot press to 345 for 10 seconds. Because you're going to have to do that a few times. Okay. And you're going to do it on a light to medium pressure. You're just going to have to watch it. Um, depending on the thickness of the board you get. You can do up to like a quarter inch thick. I think they have. Or even three eighths thick. Uh, on the laser cut boards. And that will cure it. That cures the quarter inch. And it cures the eighth inch. This is what I got here. I got the one eighth. So uh, let me go ahead and get this printing. White environment, 25% color strength, FreeJet 330TX. And that's how it should have come out the first time around. Now the cost for these, I haven't found a wholesale supplier yet for them. I'm, it's just a matter of looking. But right now I get all of these off of Amazon. The uh, 4x4 square cut boards. I can get 80 of them for 20, 21 cents a piece. Um, so a double batch order, I, I, I think, came out to grand total of overhead of a dollar ninety to print for uh, for one coaster, and that's overhead for everything. Machine cost, machine cost, electricity, uh, employee, you know at 29 cents a minute so yeah that turned out very well there is a little bit of bleeding on this bottom one nope I'm sorry my bad that is actually the uh, font <laughs> okay so now we're gonna go ahead and get them placed over here on the hot press Nonsensical, you have to worry where it goes. You don't need a cover for it. And what I do for the first 10 seconds is I don't kind of lock it down. I just kind of hover it. And let it come up for a little bit. Let it cool off.
Okay. Okay. Come down again. Lock it. It's at a one right now. Now we flip them over because after two presses it starts to flex. But we're already pretty much cured. This is just to get the heat on both sides to get the wood to flex back. It only happens with the uh, eighth inch. The quarter inch doesn't do this as much. Okay, then we take them off. They're already cured. There is no rub off. And we can stack them. And then I take them to someplace cool. And I put a little weight on it to keep it cool, keep it flat. So that way, when they cool off, they'll stay in that position. It's like it's been ironed and just... So, there you go. Like I said, this is easy right here. This is just a sheet of muslin that's cut to uh, 18 inches by 13. And that's what I print these on. This is held on by sticky, which uh, this is platen tape, which is not sticky itself. I spray the spray tack on it, which is the spray away, the spray away fast tack 382. Spray that on, it tacks up. You take the platen off and go elsewhere so you don't mess all that up. And yeah, and then once again, if we're down here, you just, you know, you go to the. I've been using white because it's, you know, regular light colored natural wood. Take the color strength down to 25%. You don't need to have pre treat. Um, I will probably try wood with pre-treat later to see if there's a major difference that will come out in it. I don't know if it will. There is no bleeding issues on the wood at the 25%. Um, for your machines, you might go up a little bit, have to go down a little bit uh, to keep from bleeding. Um, heck, you get the stuff, try it. Like I said, you can find this stuff on Amazon. Um... I get the cork for the for the backing on them with the sticky back on it already ready to stick on the 4x4s and you can print custom printed coasters. Um, the only thing you need to do, which is you won't see it here, is you need to get a clear spray acrylic either in glossy or in matte, it don't matter, whichever one you prefer. And once those are cool and they've sat for at least 24 hours um, you take them outside, put on a piece of cardboard, spray them down. It dries pretty quick. So give it five minutes after you spray a coat, spray another coat, give it five minutes, spray another coat, and then let them sit um, overnight. And then you can pack them up and ship them off. There you go, guys. You can print on wood. Now, my next step, as you saw, I do leather work as well. My next step is to see if I can print on leather. But that's down the road. So, catch you later. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm checking it out. Yeah, um, if you have any questions, if I can answer them, I will. Um, but I'm just, just figured out this. Just on a whim. So, <laughs> catch you later, guys. Have a good